anyone out there today, if you are, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the like button, and if you like it, share it with your friends because I need to get some more subscribers. I know I'm a boring old fart, but please subscribe, like, and share. It would do me a massive, massive favor and I would appreciate it. Weekend, wow. Went to the O2 on Saturday night, watched Chris Eubank Jr. fight Jason DeGale. What an epic scrap. Um, Chris went in there as the underdog. When he actually walked into the arena, there were booing, people were really behind uh, Jason DeGale. He was the Olympic champion, he was a double world champion and um, you know, the all round Mr. Nice Guy. Uh, Chris Eubank Jr, obviously very flamboyant, bit cocky, uh, the crowd, you know, weren't with him at all. But I was, you know, I loved his dad. I loved his dad's um, era, in the, era in the boxing with, um, you know, Nigel Benn and Steve Collins. They were, that was the golden era of boxing, you know bloody amazing and uh, so on Saturday night Chris Eubank went in there to prove a point that he was one of the best middleweight stroke super middleweight champions of the world and um, he actually did that he went in there and he bullied um, Jason DeGale around from round one until round 12 and um, it was awesome you know he was too powerful he was too quick uh, Jason DeGale got put down on his ass a few times and um, yeah, no, it was really good. Um, totally enjoyed it. Atmosphere was, it was good. The main event was good. All the undercards, pretty boring. But um, by the time by the time the main event came at about half past 10, it was, it was rammed and um, the atmosphere was really good. So yeah, that was that. And uh, yesterday, uh, Sunday, I like potted around because I was pretty shattered. I had a few drinks and uh, on Saturday night. So uh, yeah, Sunday, potted around the house. What I do? Put up a fence in the garden because we've just moved at home. And I'm just making the garden safe for the dog because um, there's lots of little gaps. My little dog can get out and uh, potentially not run away, but of course havoc in someone else's garden. So I did that, and obviously what a wonderful day. I had a little sunbathe, would you believe it, in February. Got the sun lounger out, found a nice spot in the garden, and uh, just chilled out for an hour. It's like today, 10 a.m., not one bloody cloud in the sky. Gonna be a cracking day. I think they said the temperature is going to hit 17 Celsius today. Ooh, excellent. So, literally heading down Putney Hill into the office and um, see what the rest of the guys have been up to. It's going to be a busy week this week. We are, there's that big Chelsea deal. 2,300 square foot basement we're working on in Chelsea. That's looking promising, very promising. The owner is a really nice guy. He wants to work with us to get the price. You know, obviously he's put it out to tender, but we've come in at a really, really good price. Because I think the other contractors he's gone out with are a lot bigger than ours with bigger overheads. So they're their costs are going to be a lot higher, buy a lot more money. Could be 100 grand more, could be more, could be 200 grand more. So that's that, and also the church. God, this is a slow burner. So still, 
the clients haven't signed with us. I thought they did, you know, two weeks ago. But no, still not bloody signed. It's now with a QS company and they are going over every little thing possible. Which is fair enough because the client doesn't want to leave any grey areas, any guess, guessing, because uh, the guessing costs money later on down the line. Um, our architect, Susanna, is working with them on the uh, layouts. But the only thing, you know, I always explain to the client, this ain't a normal project. They have got to get this building finished by September so they can move in. Well, hang on a sec, this is a 16,000 square foot building which needs to be refurbed to a really good spec so they can go in and start operating in September. And I said, look, have you ever watched DIY SOS when they go in there? Obviously she said no because she's from Poly Poly Poland, but DIY SOS, they go in there, within a week they've done extensions, lock conversions, mansards, full refurbs because it is like, boom, everyone is working together. Everyone's like, you know, had the same goal. It's getting these people in the house within a week. And this is what this, uh, this church has got to be like. But the QS, they are slowing it right down. And I said to the owner the other day, you know, we, me, my team, her, need to think like entrepreneurs and think outside the box and go for it. But you cannot teach a QS to think like us because they're like bloody lawyers they do things they've got blinkers on they just do things their way which obviously slows everything down so um, yeah and last week we had about four new inquiries refurbs side returns you know it was a mega week last night it was really good um, so yeah just heading on into the office See what everyone's up to.